true classic in the American automotive world, the 1955 T-Bird. It has a black soft top, a full tonneau cover that covers the uh, complete cockpit. Um, it's a running driving car. I just had it on I-95 doing 75 miles an hour. Um, the car has been sitting for a period of time, as, as you might understand. Um, I would definitely go for an oil change and a tune-up and what have you. It's been driven around very, very sparingly. Um, the clock works, the tachometer works, the speedometer works. The only thing that I see is not working correctly is the temperature gauge, which is probably only a sending unit of some sort. This car is equipped also with power seats and power windows. Uh, the uh, windows, as you can see, go up and down. This one flat glass has a, has a sizable crack in it. Um, it doesn't affect the going up and down. The other, the other window works, works the same, as you can see. Um, seats do not work. I don't believe the seat is bolted in properly. Be disconnected under the seat. There, there, there might be another problem that I don't know. Of. But um, you know, this is the way we've got the car, and this is what I'm representing. All directional signals work. Uh, it actually drives very well. You know, these old cars with these big steering wheels. You sit down Steam car. This is not a 100 point show winner. Um, this is more of your uh, everyday driver. Uh, the paint is kind of on the dull side. It's probably been painted a couple times in its life, obviously. Um, but it's um, uh, it covers the car. Um, if you were to wet sand and buff it, I don't know what you would get, to be honest with you. Uh, I think the car deserves. Uh, a complete good paint job. The uh, the other thing I want to say about this car is that it is completely solid. I don't find any evidence of rust in any of the normal places. The frame is as solid as a rock. The bottoms of the doors are still from the factory. There's been no fiberglass taken in any any areas. Um, behind the behind the doors, uh, I can't tell if it's rust from rust or uh, poor paint preparation, uh, but it's nothing, nothing serious whatsoever. This is, let me remind you, a numbers matching car. Uh, motor, transmission are, are matching numbers. It's, uh, you saw the engine compartment, it's very, very clean and uh, um, and neat. I mean, the firewall is perfect, the inner fenders are perfect. It's not because they've been replaced. These are the original. Everything on this car appears to be original. Uh, the dashboard looks like it used to be turquoise, and now it's they somebody painted black. Uh, and you know, those are the little things that I notice off the top. The bright work is in very good condition, although the front bumper does need some uh, uh, re-chroming. There, there are some pits in it. Uh, some bad spots in it, but all in all really not too bad of a car as you can see we're driving it around um, The exhaust comes through the uh, through the bumper. It's got a little bit of a rumble to it um, Figured for a little bit of an exhaust leak somewhere um, But that's really about it. Uh, my clients uh, called me and wanted me to represent it and uh, They were kind of reasonable with the price uh, we're not going to uh, divulge the, uh, the buy it now, but it's very, very reasonable. My name is Earl, 954-444-0850. And please give us a call if you have any questions about anything on it. And also, if you got an offer, if you think it's worth something to you, figure out your shipping cost to get it to you, and so on and so forth, travel time, what have you. Make us an offer, I will present it to my clients, and it's up to them. The car does show a legitimate 69,000 real miles on it, so, you know, you're, you're getting a pretty good car here. It's, uh, it's, it's not, the, it's not a, as I said, a 100-point show winner, but you see we're driving it around, and I'm going to pick up the speed a little bit.
shakes, there's no vibrations, there's ringing, no rattles. So give me a call, 954-444-0856.